Hey there, Shooby Doodlers. How are you doing? This is a Westie. It's actually quite a difficult drawing, but I made it as easy as possible for you. So you're going to need a pen and a pencil and an eraser. And do watch the whole video. I'm going to plan it out in pencil first, then ink it in, erase the pencil, and then just do the finishing stuff. So see through the whole video and maybe come back and watch it again just to be sure. And have a go yourself. Now, I thought drawing a Westie would be quite easy, but it is not. And I have broken it down as simply as I can. So I want you to start with a, a circle. Now, don't press hard because the harder you press, the harder it is to erase all the pencil lines. So just press on the surface of the page. And uh, let's have a line down the middle and a line down the middle. Um, then the the ears are going to be pretty much right on the edge and sort of a curve there, and a very gentle curve that way. And the eyes want to be, well, let's start on this central line here. So what I'm going to do is bring like a, a an ellipse around that. Yeah, so we're going to have this kind of ellipse shape around there. And then we want the eyes quite close together around about there. Drop down a little bit, that would be the nose. And then you want to do a kind of an, an S shape there. And that'll be the bottom lip. And we're going to do kind of eyebrows going down. So it kind of looks sad, but he's not really. And then from round about here on the halfway line, we're going to draw the chest and pretty much just, just below that line there the body going across, but let's kind of just saddle down slightly and into a curve. Uh, and the body is about two head lengths, in fact. It's quite much longer than you expect. And it's about two and a bit of those. So let's draw a line down there. And we're going to want to have a leg there with a foot at the bottom, a paw at the bottom. <laughs> And we want to have this sort of strange dog leg shape in there, don't we? Coming in like that. And then that will be pretty much like that with a foot at the bottom. And now they are making it quite a low tummy because there's going to be a lot of fur involved here. So we want the other leg there and we can have the other leg there. So they want to be on a slightly different line, just slightly higher up. And then we want the tail sticking up nicely like that. And then we can start inking in. So I am going to start with this line here. And it needs to be quite kind of furry, <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. Uh, and then we can put the eyes in there. And I'm not going to do them as circles. And I'm not going to do them as complete kind of shape. So there's a little cut in there at the top, which is the, the reflection of the light in the eye. And then I'm going to do that. And that's just going to go across the top of the eye. And then we can draw the nose. And I'm going to draw a little circle there and shade that all in. There's a lot going on here, so don't just zoom off on your own. Sort of wait to see the end of the uh, video and then you might want to watch it a couple of times again. So they have kind of a black bottom lip like that and then we want to have a little bit down there. Um, and then they're quite sort of fluffy. So we're coming sort of down at an angle. So it's not sticking straight out. We're sort of always sort of pointing down. That's the upper bit and then trying to point down there and then up to the top and then around, up to the top, and then around. And then we want another one inside, like that. And then we want this to be slightly fluffy at the back here as well, going up to the tail. And then we're going to start here on the rump there. And then we're going to sort of follow this around with kind of curly, furry lines. And then this can be quite furry on the underside of the tail as well. Now somehow we want to fit in there a, a, a collar. So I'm just going to do a kind of a, a tartan pattern there. There's maybe a, a little dog collar. 
and we want to have this quite furry and again this wants to be I can start right down here in fact to make that kind of furry there and this is where it gets really really tricky so we want to kind of make do these little kind of curly S -y shapes kind of like that and then coming down to the back leg and we'll just do that there and here again we want these kind of furry lines and again furry lines like that and then you might want to put a few more sort of wiggles and squiggles in there when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry then you can erase all those pencil lines and if you didn't press too hard that should be a lot easier to do <laughs> the harder you press the harder it is to erase and here i'm going to just draw a little line and then two or three going up so this is kind of on a little grassy mound maybe something like that we can put some more grass in there and i'm just going to put some shading in there on the legs that are on the further side so they kind of disappear further over to there and I'm going to put little bits under there maybe some bits up there and I think I'm going to put a tiny bit of shading in there too and then I think we need a little bit of shading on the ground be a bit darker kind of under the pores like that and then we can just scribble in a bit of shading there and I think maybe we could just put a little bit of shading in around there too but you don't want to overdo it a little bit on the tail we could wag that tail there you go, how to draw a Westie. And thanks for watching Draw Stuff Real Easy. Click down here to subscribe and then ring the bell as well and you'll be told when I put new videos up on Draw Stuff Real Easy. And keep coming back for lots more how to draw videos. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.